Hey guys, it's me and uh, I'm just uh, sitting on my balcony here preparing my slides uh, for the upcoming Breaking Down the Borders conference. And actually I had a few people, my students and a few other people who have uh, attended my other events uh, who have written to ask me, so May, what are you going to be covering for this upcoming conference? And I thought I'd just shoot this video because uh, I'm really preparing my slides and I thought uh, I'd just sort of give you a, a bit of a sneak preview, especially for the people who are very interested in this topic of millennials and also for Gen Z. Uh, it's, a, it's a group of people of which I also belong to that category of millennial, which has been sort of pretty much killed by, by the media. You know, every time you've got youth protests or you have all these like young upstarts joining companies who seem to be creating a lot of problems uh, for the rest of the world. So the, this, this aims to look at um, what's actually happening with uh, millennials in, in the workplace, but also I think some of the problems that uh, this group is facing. And uh, I just wanted to share my screen and uh, I just show you a sneak preview of some of the slides that I'm covering. Like for example, you see this is a group of people who don't want to go to college, not just in Singapore, but worldwide, you know, they, they, they are starting to not want to go to school properly. And uh, so other things that are like, you know, they don't actually want like real jobs. You see like a lot of millennials are kind of like leaving this concept of the conventional job, uh, especially for things like social media, even gaming. These are not conventional careers and driving their, their parents nuts because they, they don't want to do uh, the good jobs. And also things like, uh, there are also other very worrying trends uh, such as suicide rates are actually higher among uh, Gen Y's millennials yeah, and, and Gen Z. So the, the suicide rates are higher in Singapore for young people, but actually even in the US, can you see like even um, over the last 18 years or also the last 20 years, uh, young people between the age of 10 to 24, which are actually in, the, in, in our millennial Gen Z category, suicide rates are higher and higher. So what exactly is making these people so pessimistic? And uh, of course, we want to talk about how if you are watching this and you're a parent, you're older and your, your kids are in that, that range, it's very hard to know how do you even support them. Uh, you can actually see lots of parents are, are sounding out now about how it's very hard to parent. The world is very different. They're not really sure. Lots of parents have even come to say, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what, what my kid wants or I have no idea how to guide them. Uh, even for organizations, those of you who uh, could be leaders or bosses in your organizations, how do you hire these millennials, Gen Z? How do you retain them? And uh, I think this is a lot more less about like how to make money in, in that sense, but rather why is it that these people can't see a future in your in your organization? Uh, it's also important for most, most of us in, in our workplace and business environments to recognize these trends that are changing, not to retain these young people, but to understand that millennials and Gen Z are a, it's a representation of where the in what direction the world is going next, and this could be very interesting for organizations to look at. Uh, of course, these young people are quitting their jobs in droves, even during the COVID period. So, what exactly is going on there? So, it's a and if you like me are in that category, uh, more and more so, you find that millennials are starting to get very lost about what they do in their lives. Uh, and the Gen Z who are following up, most Gen Z right now, and they are very early 20s and below, some of them are still in school. Uh, with this new climate, what does a young person do in terms of your education, your career, and potentially even your lifestyles? Okay, so you can see uh, millennials and Gen Z are increasingly pessimistic about their lives. This is from a Bloomberg report. Uh, and it seems to be kind of like the case. Uh, I, th I don't think COVID-19 is making this easier. So of course, many people want to ask, okay, so is there something in astrology that explains all of these trends? And also, importantly, is what can we do? So I'd like to uh, invite all of you to come uh, to my lecture. I'm speaking for the very first time in an international conference called Breaking Down the Borders. This is organized by uh, IAA, which is the International Academy of Astrology. Uh, they are based in the United States. But I will, presenting, I will be presenting this in Singapore. The date is going to be on the 7th of November. And if you are signing up from Singapore, if you go to the website, don't panic if you see 1 a.m. Okay, 1 a.m. is like American time. So I'm going to be speaking at 2 p.m. Singapore time, 7th of November. Uh, this is a ticketed event. It is organized by the conference. So there is a conference ticket uh, for the lecture that you do need to purchase. Now, if you are buying from Singapore, here's a special instruction for those of you buying from Singapore. Uh, 
uh, you're going to see in the description for this video that there is an email address at the bottom. What you do is you send an email to this address and uh, they will tell you how to make the payment. So this is uh, it's different for Singapore than for any other country due to some regulations. Okay, so uh, just, just do that because if you try to buy through the website, you might get a lot of errors. Okay, so uh, it's a, it's a I, IT thing. Okay, so I don't know about that. But in any case, um, who should be attending this? Uh, you know, if you have kids who are in that the millennial or the Gen Z age, this could really help in terms of um, getting mindsets clear or how to support your children. If you are a leader in an organization or you're trying to hire and retain young people, and also I think taking an eye into further down, five, 10, 20 years down the road, what are some changes that we need to make in our businesses right now, uh, not just to accommodate young people, but to make sure that you stay relevant in the post-COVID world. And the lastly, if you yourself are a millennial and you're starting to feel a little bit like, you know, like floaty, not really know what to do in your career, this could be a good investment of your time, okay? So uh, I'm going to be speaking live, which means if you attend live, you will be able to ask questions during the Q&A. Uh, and for whatever reason, if you're unable to attend this lecture live, as long as you buy a ticket, uh, the organization, the conference will send you a recording of my lecture. So for those of, uh, and to save you the trouble of asking us, uh, this lecture will not be available on my YouTube channel. It will not be made available uh, on any of my, of my websites or whatever, uh, because this, is, this lecture is specific to the conference and I will not be repeating this content uh, in any other of my YouTube channels or on any of my other events. Okay, so don't miss this. It's going to be a one time only. So make sure you catch me. Uh, you just go. Just uh, if you're from Singapore, just email that that email address, and uh, I'll I'll see you guys at my lecture. Okay, I'll catch you guys there.